And I want to talk about fear of being exposed and or being gay. The word gay is energized by and as the definitions that, well, definitions and judgments that we define a form as. The form, which is the form of the human physical body, which is a mathematical equation composed of frequencies, other forms, shapes, colors, uh, all kinds of constructs uh, that it are utilized to create the totality of and as the human body. The liver, the stomach, the lungs, the blood, the cells, the organs, the organelles, the tissues, all of these, which is part of the entire mathematical equation of that which is known as the human body. Which is a particular specific form. And thus one based on their self-judgments, based on their past, which has become a body. Uh, not a physical body, but a body that is... existed based on one's own definitions and judgments about themselves reflected upon and as their world as experience. Therefore the word gay is energized by this body that is called the past which is existent within and as time. And thus time becomes one, becomes one's own trap, one's own bubble, one's own dimension, one's own reality. Thus one remains time Trapped, trapped in space time that is composed of that which is the past as memories. Thus, when the word gay is exercised from a perspective that a, an individual's uh, depending on their form and depending on another person's form which is similar based on their anatomical composition their physiological composition of the body as male based on the form the similarity one defines that which is considered gay. And thus, the word gay is exercised. And each time that is exercised uh, from and within a point of self-judgment, from and within a point of experience, basically, when the word gay is exercised, the more that the word gay is the foundation of time as time trapped, as being trapped within time, within 
and has a particular specific experience with the relationship of the word gay. And so really, gay people do not exist because the formulation of the word gay is an experience. An experience only comes from one's own reality, one's own dimension, one's own existence within and as the mind. Therefore, gay, being gay doesn't really exist. And so thus, when one uh, talks about a person being gay, uh, when one sees a person as being gay as a point of less than, thus abusing that person within words and pictures. For example, ha ha, man, that nigga's gay. Ooh, look at that gay motherfucker. You know? One is actually living within their own experience based on a word in which one has become time trapped within an illusion, which is a mind definition of what is perceived as gay. So really, gay doesn't really exist. Gay is simply an experience that is not real. But instead, I can equalize myself with the word gay. And thus, when I become equal with the word gay, it's like mathematics. When you cancel out a number with another number that is the same number as the other number, both of the numbers cancel out. And all that is left is the, the rest of the equation. That's what, that is actually a good point to actually bring self back to self, is to cancel out the word gay by equalizing self with the word gay, and thus, uh, and thus diminish it from one's world and reality. And thus, the word gay as the experience doesn't even exist anymore because it was just a mind fuck. It goes with all of the, all other words that one has separated themselves from through experiences. Because the experiences have specific definitions, specific Equations that create the experience as the experience. And thus, every experience is not experienced the same. So, therefore, that is why different personalities exist, because different experiences exist, thus, creating the illusion of difference, the illusion of expression. It's really just remaining within a certain point of equations, symbols, that one has adhered to within and as their world and reality. Thus, I mean, why does one have to exercise being gay or exercise being lesbian, when in fact, transgender, any of those, when in fact, all is me. As the experience. Why do I have to specialize the experience when the experience is me? As a personality that has been developed from previous experiences. And those experiences, you know, 
or even experiences experienced from within the parents' experience, because we all came from our parents. So. I mean, what part of us is actually real? I believe the, the real self is when we are able to transcend all experience, all def self-definitions of what we perceive ourselves as, and to thus live free of all definitions. Through and as deconstructing the self that is the mind as the personality, as these experiences. And when one is not subject to experiences, then that is when self can really be expressed as life. Thank you.